This is the entrance to the hospital. And the golden rule here is do not touch anything. And I would not want to. So yeah, it's about 50 times higher resolution, more actually 60. Welcome to day two of Chernobyl. Right now, I'm in a Soviet military base that was used for detecting nuclear missiles. This is an old Soviet warning system for nuclear missiles. It would detect missiles coming over the Atlantic. Look at the size of it. It's ridiculous. Like, I can't even get it all in doing that. <laughs> they did not mess around. Okay, so this is the inside. <laughs> it's very Soviet, as you can see. It's just basically a giant tube that goes that way. No decoration, really. Um, this is just how it was. It goes all the way down there, and there's there's nothing left. Look at that! Right behind me, <laughs> the old control systems. This is crazy. Look how it's just completely abandoned. This is the propaganda room. You can't really see me, but um, this is the old control room for this radar tower. All the consoles are still here, and you can just walk around it. Like, look at this, it's, that is, it's exactly as it was. It's been untouched, and that would have been the screens up there. I think, strictly, we're not allowed to come into these places, because it's meant to be no, going inside any buildings within Chernobyl but all the tour groups will go in anyway whoa so have a look at this these are all the circuit boards that are left over We're now on the way to an abandoned cooling tower. This was never finished, and it was meant to be for Reactor 5, I believe. I'm not sure how far we can go into it. I'm, I'm hoping we can go up, but it was never finished because of the meltdown, because of the re explosion. But now it's just there, and maybe we can go inside. And also, as a side note, we're walking along an old railway track. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even register. <laughs> I got used to this in the last two days and now I just realized, hey, we're walking along an old disused railway track to get there. Oh, this is very cool. Look at that. Wow. Stay only on the concrete. Don't walk on the moss or mud. So right now it's one seven. Okay. It's in different places. Yeah. It can go up, but it's better to avoid it. So it's standard 1.7 here anyway. Ooh, okay. Two, nine, six. Whoa. This is actually one of the most surreal parts of it so far. Being inside a cooling tower of a nuclear power plant. And this was never finished because it was meant to be for Reactor 5, which they never completed. Ooh, there's an echo.
I'm in the hospital now in Pripyat. This was ground zero. This is where everyone came after the events in 1986. Look at this. This is the maternity ward. Whoa, okay, this is the elevator. Look at that. So one of the rules here is do not touch anything. This would be highly radioactive. There's mud right below me. Even walking in this feels like something I shouldn't be doing. Um, one of the interesting things here is that the firefighters' uniforms are still in the basement downstairs. And they're one of the most radioactive pieces still in Pripyat. You can't move them because they're just leave them there and they're out of sight, out of mind. But the basement isn't even sealed off. If I wanted to, I could walk into it and I could go right up to the firefighters' uniforms. It's not something I'm going to do. Honestly, I don't know if best is the right word. Maybe most interesting, but this is the most interesting part of Pripyat so far. Being in the hospital, I guess, is absolutely bizarre, for lack of a better word. Seeing it as it was, everything left the same way it would have been in 1986. Look at this. This is a man-made lake. This lake is completely polluted. It was man-made and apparently the radiation has sunk to the bottom as far as I understand it, but it's still polluted so you would not want to go in there. But there's still some fish swimming around. We're on the way out of the Chernobyl exclusion zone right now and about to go through the final radiation check to see if we can leave or not. Okay, well that's it. Two days in Chernobyl, done. What an interesting experience. Completely surreal, completely mind-blowing. And even though I expected it to be quite touristy after the HBO series, it wasn't nearly as many people as I imagined. Yeah, what an experience. The only other thing I have to say is if you do want to book this tour, the whole thing I've done with Soviet Wastelands, Young Pioneers, the, the link will be in the description. Go check it out and you can do exactly what I've done through Moldova, Transnistria and finishing with Chernobyl. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.